for up until our time. Anyhow, today we will be doing the How We Met Challenge and a little bit of Mommy Power Hour. I'm going to ask him some of the questions that I asked Instagram in my Instagram story because I know he don't watch my Instagram stories, but he likes my posts. Do you watch my Instagram stories? Mm-hmm. The circle thing? Mm-hmm. Did you see some of the questions I asked? I didn't watch it yesterday. Or did you watch it yesterday? Because it was yesterday and the day before yesterday and the day before that. Why do you need to wait? Now he has an Instagram story. So he didn't watch them. No, I didn't. Then I look so much better than last time, y'all. Okay. So, we're going to start the How We Met Challenge. How do we meet? Me through a tie. What? You got to give him the full story. Be light on the names, but the full story. Well, I was. Oh snap! My bad. In the ninth grade, and I rode the bus, and there she was. I don't know if y'all got it yet, but she was more of the popular, loud chick, and I was very quiet in school, very timid. And she didn't give me the time of day, but I met her in the ninth grade. <coughs> and we didn't officially start dating until 2011. I was in the ninth grade at, in 2004. So that's like seven, eight years wasted. Thanks to Tony. So, I'm Shady Lips. I said hi. That's how we met. And she said bye. So, my turn. My story is going to be so much more dramatic, <laughs> way longer. So, no, we didn't meet jumping out of a plane. Did not make it. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, we <laughs> met. <laughs> I was in a carriage, a Cinderella carriage. No. Uh,. Were our brothers friends first? Hmm? Were our brothers friends first? That probably happened right around the same time. Okay, so we moved to this area because we were living in another area. So we moved to, okay, so basically we was living in North Dallas and we moved to Mesquite. And he stayed down the street and I stayed down the other street, obviously, since he stayed down the street. Mm -hmm. And we got brothers that are the same age. So I don't know how they met, but they like best friends even to today. And um, I don't remember him saying hi, but I was the loud girl. I don't recall because I wore my uniforms properly. I'm a Christian. I literally sit up straight. I type like this. I don't know what the loud girl is. Like, that's not my thing. Um, Why are you pushing me? Because you straight up on and they know you lying. You got a whole <laughs> fucking blog that talks but shit about other people. That is not me. That <laughs> is loud, nosy he, ass. He's my help on my blog. He posts when it be like crazy stuff. That's him. I am really quiet. I'm shy. When I'm in front of people, I am so quiet. Like it's ridiculous. Anyhow, I hope y'all kept the receipt. Because <laughs> y'all bought any of the bullshit <laughs> just fed. <laughs> <laughs> it was not bull, okay? I'm really I'm when I meet people, I'm real quiet until I know them and then I be like, hey That's not true. Girl, okay, fine. I'm a little bit loud. I'm not even loud. This is normal for me. Right. Hmm? This is normal. I'm not loud. Mm-hmm. So Anyway, our brothers are friends. I don't remember him saying hi. I think he just noticed me because I was fine black. And it was before I had kids, so I was real, you know, slim, thick, cutie, you know. I'm still a thick cutie. I ain't slim. I'm just a thick cutie. But anyway, I, I, I did see him. He was the only person with his pants pulled up and his shirt tucked all the way in. So I did notice him. I didn't speak. I don't remember if I spoke or not. But eventually... When I turned 17, I got pregnant. I had a baby. And voila, I met his mama. But at this time, 
his brother and my brother that I already been friends. So I met his mom. And then eventually he, you know, got cute to me. And I think we always flirted. I don't think there never was a time we didn't flirt. I think we was flirting when he had a girlfriend. I don't know. Were we flirting when he had a girlfriend? What, what, why not? You scared she gonna see? And she gonna call you? Mm-hmm. Were we flirting when you had a girlfriend? I don't think so. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we wasn't flirting? It was just a real high? I don't know, Chloe. Stop calling her. But I call you. Come on, stay. <laughs> Okay, maybe he was flirting, maybe he wasn't. I think he was. Um, but we would say hi. Um, he would smell really good. He would be in the hallway bathroom, like, looking at himself. Like, he was real cute or something. And then he would walk out the door. And then one day, I need. I said, I need my computer fixed or something. And I had became friends with his little sister. And I told his sister, uh, give your brother my number or something. I don't know. It was taking too long. So we talked on Facebook. And he said, I don't bite. You didn't say that? I don't recall. Oh, I, I re- said don't I don't bite. He said I don't bite. Y'all, he said I don't bite. But in response to what? I don't know, but you ain't bite. But what did you say? You saying what I said. What did you say? Hey, I was scared to talk to you or something like that. And he said, I don't know why I don't bite. Are you seriously scrolling through your phone? It is literally eight years. It don't matter. Me and him don't have that many Facebook messages because we've lived together since two thousand, since like the middle of two thousand twelve. Eleven, eleven since the middle of two thousand eleven. So, um, but yes, y'all, I'm already in two thousand and thirteen with our messages, um, because we got some. We used to argue a lot. Have y'all ever went back to y'all Facebook messages? Oh my. I just read some. Oh, maybe. I don't have any 2011s, but I got some 2012. Anyway, because I can't read y'all what I was just reading. He nasty, y'all. He a freak. We got, we got kids. We got like four kids, so he nasty. Anyway, he got a brother. Is that the part I was at? Anyway, I know I got his number eventually, but we Facebook for a while, for a minute, cause he lived down the street, and then. You Facebook for like literally thirteen hours. Next thing you know, we Facebooked in December too because I had just had a baby. So we Facebooked in December and January. Thirteen, all of thirteen hours. And then on February eleventh, he came to my house and we became a issue. An issue. An issue. We didn't become really official until May two thousand eleven. If you can call that official, because he said I don't like titles. Why we need titles? What did you say we were? You don't remember? I don't recall, no. <laughs> you didn't say you don't like titles? Labels, maybe. Man, that's... Th- that. He said titles, y'all. Yeah, he said titles. And I went to Florida. <laughs> Boom. He asked me. He didn't even ask me to be his girl. I kind of just kinda became like his girl. Mm-hmm. All the pressure, and she eventually just said, "Am I your girlfriend?" I just said, "Yes, come on, man." <laughs> and, it just happened. and here we are, August fifteenth to um thirty twenty nine minutes, August fifteenth, two thousand eighteen, and we're together. Two children later, and. This a uh, uh, what kind of relationship is this? This is it's pretty dope. Uh, it has its good moments. 
um, I have this horrifying moment. Hmm. Do you like this relationship? You put a lot of emphasis on the horrifying. Oh, it's then, not horrifying. On the heaven side, you put us oh, good. Our but relationship is bomb. It's horrifying on this side. It needs to be spectacular on this side. But our relationship is, is so spectacular. Right, you no know, take you back. It is no take. What are you talking to, Kari? <laughs> you never know. That's our age. baby. I she's mean, she's four. He said no take you backies. Our relationship is bomb and shit. And just like other relationships, it's got problems. You know, they ain't all that big. Somebody might make them bigger than they need to be, but they're not that big. You know, they cool. They, they, you know, average problems on in the middle of a volcano. What is their face? It's not average problems. Nah, it's just that somebody may make them a little bigger than they need to be. <laughs> Our relationship. For the most part, he always tells me something, something way. The good outweighs the bad. So, obviously, our relationship is dope. You don't want to lose me. I don't want to lose him either. Why are you way back there? Just listening to you talk to yourself. I'm talking to the people. I'm sorry. What's your name? <laughs> Get signed. The Timothy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, you, want a, <laughs> you, want, you want a glass of water? <laughs> the people that are going to watch the okay. video. You know what, y'all? We done. We met. We flirted. We got together. And now we here. <clears throat> what was that? You missed something. What? We flirted. We got together. We broke up. We got back together. We had babies. And now, oh, a bunch of other stuff. And now we're here. Is it good? It's great. Couldn't have done it better myself. You know what? Never mind him. So let's get into Mommy Power Hour. I could never fully get this out because we always busy. He's always at work and the kids are always home. They go back to school today. Are you excited? I'm a little bit tired though. Anyhow, so I could never really fully do mommy power hour. To me, mommy power hour was going to be like this thing I created called mommy and giggles. And I created that at the same time I created Shady Lips. Was was like the end of 2011. And it wasn't called Shady Lips. It was called Who is Carmen J. And then it changed into Carmen J. And then it changed into Shady Lips. But around that time, I uh, created Mommy's and Jesus. And I never messed with it. And then I had a son. No, I had my son already. Then Trayvon Martin got killed. And then I started messing with it again. But then I couldn't. I never really focused on it. I was just fo- focusing on Who is Carmen J. And then when I switched over to WordPress, um, I added a little section at the top that says Mommy and Giggles. And in there, I think I have like four topics. One is about tube ligation. Um, one is about my son being black. One is about when children get sick. And one is just like about being a fucking mom. Like sometimes it kind of bends your mind. Wouldn't you say? I've never been a mom in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, being a dad, does it bend your mind sometimes? Like, just get you out of yourself? I can't wait to hear you answer this. Not sure what you mean. Could you, uh... Elaborate? Yes. Do they sometimes drive you up a wall? No, I mean, they're kids. Kids will be kids. So the kids don't drive you up the wall. Our kids. No. They always calm and cool. No. So you just, but you just calm and cool even when they dad, dad, mama, 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 da 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 da, all of them at the same time. Where's your hand at? They don't ever do that to me. I felt it somewhere. 
Okay. So, I am now on my Instagram. What you think? You yellow? That's a yellow dude, though. <laughs> How do you think our two? We have three girls, by the way, and a boy, and we're gonna have another baby. How 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 soon do you think you should talk to your kids about having sex? What age? Did it be close on about this? Did you answer that question? No, I was not going to answer that question. So now question. you are. Uh, you can't catch me off guard like this. Jeez. <laughs> Need at least a week in advance. I don't know when I'm gonna start that conversation. I kind of don't want them to come to me, but I don't want to go to them either. Cause I feel like if they come to me, somebody already told them about it. So I don't want them to come to me. But I don't know the proper. Like I feel like it's when their body is blooming, but my daughter's nine and her body's already changing. For me, growing up, my parents never had to talk with me. Um, it's kind of just, and it's not necessarily a specific person that had to talk with me other than, you know, like, it's not like I met a girl at school and she said, you know, I'm ready to have sex. Really, kids are so damn fast these days. You just kind of hear the word around school. You know how babies are made, like kids talking among themselves. The kids teach each other. So if my daughter did come to me talking about sex, it's it don't have to necessarily mean she heard it from a specific boy that's trying to have sex with it. It's just kids talking about shit they had no business talking about. It's just a, I had uh, people telling me, like, one of the jokes, in the badass schools, by the way, I grew up in a very bad spot, tell me shit like, you ain't had pussy since your mama had you. Crybaby, <laughs> That's cry funny. Babies, <laughs> sucking on your mama titties. <laughs> you ain't had pussy since your mama um, had you. Just... Uh, used to make fun of you. You still beating your meat like he having sex. You in the fucking third grade? <laughs> Wait, like, it's, it's, really? Yeah, the kids actually having them kind of conversations, like, and I think that's where they gonna find out, like, really, if she ain't heard it right now, because well, she in fourth grade now. Like, really, kids are so damn fast these days. They already kind of have an idea of what is what. So, honestly. I don't know when, but it's going to be hard to beat them kids to the punch. The kids nowadays grow up so much faster than I did. My kids are under the impression right now that babies come from baby core. Yeah, they're not falling for that shit. Kids not dumb these days. Don't. My kids are. No, they're not. I told them so. <laughs> they I, know that shit. If, I don't, if I'm not mistaken, I think a couple of days ago, my, my, my son or my daughter, my youngest daughter, you know, she, the next one, she's four. Was like, um, Mama, where we get babies from? I told her baby core. She said, How they get in your stomach? When I said, You you pick a baby out the baby core book, and then you eat that pill, and then it get in your stomach, and then it transfer to baby core, and we go pick it up. Sound like a what's that song? The Jeremiah song? Where he some he got a pill for or something? Is that him? What? That, what? You just told her you gotta eat a pill to have a baby. You do. Well, that sounds sexual. She gonna like when she get old, she gonna be like, maybe that's what mama meant. You know, like how you know that Jeremiah song. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm ruining my child. <laughs> like when little kids ask you that, you automatically assume that they just literally heard it at that moment. And when she asked me that, she's only in the house with me and her siblings. So I'm thinking she heard it from her siblings. Now I'm trying to figure out where the hell did her siblings hear from. Because we all need to talk. Like, what? sex. And where babies come from. Or where do babies come from? Like, why they even well, having that conversation in the had, room? Yeah, but we done had experiences already. And you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to. Mm-hmm. You know. And it could be the simple fact that we watching power thinking they sleep in the room and they just walk in on it or they just know because and my kids I, I don't even think it's my kids I think all kids are like at this this thing where they, they just smart know. like okay they're so smarter than we used to be when we was that age just telling you my aunt used to say close technology. your eyes and it's cover just, your ears it's the technology goddamn um chase 
you already know what that is. It's like give him a tablet. You know what? You know we already done went through this, and I don't know where they learned that. It's just they. I think they fashion. seen it. When I was little, y'all know Friday the first movie in the very beginning of the movie Friday. Me and my cousin Pooh, we in my TT Willan house, which is my grandma's sister, and um, it's Pooh Granny. And in the beginning of Friday, the old lady's beating on the door, and Craig opened the door, and then he said, "We don't want no damn book or something." And then she said, "Fuck you too, motherfucker," something like that. And my auntie used to pause and say, "Cover your eyes and close your ears." And that was just some curse words. It wasn't even for sex. And when uh, Debo and old girl was in the bed together, they weren't even having sex. But it was still cover your eyes. Like, I don't, I don't watch shows with my kids. I mean, I listen to songs with bad words in it because my mom used to always say, just because I say it, I mean, you say it, but I guess that don't work with my kids because apparently they be in there cussing. I don't know how accurate that is. But, yeah. Uh, you know, like the difference these days, is these days, we don't tell our kids to cover their eyes or anything. We actually, at least not, not me, I don't believe in this. And I'm trying to do that in our household, but we, Give them a tablet and tell them what's going on. And they sit in the corner. Give a freaking eight-year-old a phone and tell her, now go, leave me alone. That's, that's... This makes me think this video is bad, then. So, y'all, I, we got this Cam Fam thing going on. And... Hold on, y'all. But they know the words. I didn't know they knew that song like that. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I told you. They ain't got nothing to do in the backseat when we taking a 50-minute drive. Look at this. Like they know them blanks, they know a word go there, and what they doing in their head, head is saying jumping off the stage, ho. But what they saying out loud is jumping, jumping, a. Yeah, they know what they know to fill them gaps, especially you can see it in Chase face. He thinking like, okay, this is the part where I don't say ho, mm-hmm. but he's saying it in his head. He already preparing himself, so it's like, oh, it ain't no room. Like we gotta stop being young. We not. We young. We t- shit. I'm 27. I'm 27. We young, but we can't act like a bunch of teenagers raising kids. We gotta act like our parents. Shit, my mama ain't never. I, I've never witnessed my mama listening to back that ass up. Nine said nine to two thousand. I've never heard my mama listen to that. I can't even but nowadays you hear parents and you li- look at parents, they still jamming this shit and writing it's okay to be young but not in front of your kids like that. You still That's listening. why he's my man. You still listening to Boosie in front of your damn kids. Come on now. Boosie cool, but listen to Boosie on Boosie Adult Time. Boosie is adult music. Don't don't jam that in front of your y'all children. Y'all need to get y'all one of these. <laughs> Like, if you ain't got one of these, then I think we balance each other out, kind of, sort of, because he that real logical person. I'm the gotta see it to believe it person. But well, it's kind of the irony. They don't know, but they know. I'm so confused. You say you gotta see it to believe it person. It sound more like me. Oh, <laughs> well... We know what it means. We know who we are. I'm like, and he's more like, I see how I did it. But uh, if y'all have pay attention to y'all kids, my children, they watch cartoon movies, right? But they might get around, get up, and dance around. 
But today I turned on Casper, like the, the first Casper. Not when he met Wendy, but back when it was made in like 1995, Casper met uh the girl with the black hair. And it was Casper and his uncles in that big old house. And her daddy was a scientist or something. They sat down for that whole movie. Then I turned on Trolls. My two oldest, and even the one that loved Trolls, my youngest was just up moving around. Then I turned on Baby's Kids. I kid you not, they got up none at all. It's probably a problem watching Baby's Kids. But when I was younger, I watched it. You know what I'm saying? That loud, I think about who I am. Yeah, they probably shouldn't have watched Baby's Kids. But I was busy. Ish. So I guess you can't never be too busy to be a parent. But um, yeah, I guess maybe I should pay attention a little bit more than what I do now. But they can go back to school. So technically, I'm off the clock, right? Yeah, I mean, we don't have no rules. No, I don't count y'all. <laughs> she be counting. She totally did. She know the whole freaking phone. She's going ape shit every day. <laughs> that is true. But she knows songs like, This is why I love you. Or, dun, 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 dun. Everybody, grab your hand. Like, she knows stuff like that. She don't know. Taking over for the 99 nine and the 2000. She don't know that. I don't think none of them know that. Or they know. Hey, little mama. Ooh, y'all to get on my nerves. got on my nerves so bad this morning. I was like yelling. It was horrible. Hey, little mama. Why you dress up on who? Oh, which one? The other one where all they do is say, hell no. Oh, I can do anything. Hell no. Yeah, I promise you, they hell know every nah, word yeah. except for when he rapping the verse. My, I, I like, I think my my two youngest, I think they just be saying hell no. Nah. They do say they just like hell no, nah, hell no, nah. like, and it's because they don't. I, I think they know now hell is a bad word, but they just be like hell no. Nah. Or I'll tell them, go in there and tell such and such, get your ass in here. And my my four year old just saying, mama said, get your ass in here, like, but I think she don't know it's a bad word. Like if I tell her to go say it. I think that's me giving her permission because usually I tell her when not to say something, but I think it's like me giving her permission to say it. And then the kids are like, she said a, the A word or the E word or some shit they be making up. I don't know. But that's what mommy power hours is going to be all about. He's not always going to be in my mommy power hours. So you is know? this mommy power hour or like are we still doing how we met? Both. <laughs> mommy power hour is also going to be about like women just ex- like sharing their experiences with each other like one of my blog posts in mommy um mommy and giggles is somebody was like what do you do when your child get a fever me i freak out i believe in going to the er if it's four o'clock in the morning i really don't care but we do motrin we do the towels we do tylenol um and I sometimes get the Walmart brand, depending on how my money is. And so we talk about different medicines we use, different natural remedies we use. I found out that for my my son and my four-year-old, that the cough syrups that work for them don't work for the other two. The honey bears work for them too, but a whole nother cough syrup work for the other two. So it's like I'm just sharing knowledge with other mommies and just answering questions and allowing us to answer each other's questions so we, so we can all share each other's knowledge. And then he just going to be here, you know, when he not at work. Ultimate remedy is sleep. Don't listen to that shit. With your kid, the ultimate remedy is not sleep, bro. <laughs> it is the doctor. Don't listen. The ultimate remedy for you the adults. The doctor literally give you... The only thing that actually works is usually the damn shot, the steroid shit. Other than that, they give you this medicine that temporarily relieves your pain or your fever. And then they tell you to take your ass to sleep. And in three days, if it ain't gone, come back. Then they give you that shot. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. For four, no, maybe for like a week, I was coughing, right? We was at his mama's house. I was coughing. In Mesquite, I was just coughing, having coughing nonstop. I don't recall. I recall. He told me to take a nap. He's like, I got the kids. Take a nap. Yeah, I woke up and I was still coughing. Yeah, because you woke up. To I was. Co- <laughs> the doctor say three days. <laughs> like, I was coughing for like two weeks, right? And I finally went to the ER. I'm dying. I'm talking. I had one of them from down here coughs. Like I'm sick, 
And they literally give me a shot in my butt. Had I went sooner, though, they would have gave me a cough cert. Which wouldn't have worked. And then they did give me a cough cert. I did get a cough cert. I did get a cough cert. Which didn't work. And then, okay, on top of that, when the kids get sick and I take them, y'all, when I take them to the ER, so they'll have a fever, right? And Mm -hmm. we'll be on day three. And they they give me a moxicillin or a moxiclob or something else. Because children, I ain't going to never tell y'all to just take a nap. Do not listen to him. Okay? Do not just tell your kid to go lay down if they're actually sick. Take them to the ER. But also, with that said, don't be like her and let your kids play you. Because kids like to play you. They're going to play that sick card every time they get an essay at school. Every time it's time to go to sleep, they sick. Every time it's time to clean up the room, they finger hurt. God okay, damn. I'm talking about real. I'm talking about when I can see it. Like As a mama, you know you always follow your mother's intuition the computer kind of went to sleep on us you always follow your woman's intuition and your mother's intuition do you got a daddy intuition yeah and most of the time they playing his daddy (laughs) intuitions only work when they like being bad but when they sick as a mama which is where we different he's still soft but he not as soft as me like no i'm not gonna wash your ass for tissue I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. (laughs) Okay, so when it comes to my babies, all four of them, I don't care how old they get, if we go to the ER and they sick, um, come on, baby, or I'm holding my four-year-old, and if it's too bad, like, they had to transfer my son to Children's Hospital because he had pneumonia, I cry, and I call my mama. I don't know why I call my mama, because she a nurse, she's been a nurse all my life, so I feel like she could just decode some shit, I don't know. And some people just be telling me I'd be overthinking, I'd be overdoing it and stuff like that. So we can move on. Who is y'all? In that particular case, you right. Who said y'all? He said, who y'all looking at? I said, who y'all looking at? <laughs> the people. Did I say that? Mm-hmm. When did I say that? Just now. No, you saying that shit. No, me and the people heard it. You heard that, Timothy? Okay, when you go back and you do some edits or whatever in this video. I'm not editing this video, y'all, because I actually look cute. Hold on. I actually look cute today. I don't look all fat and stuff. Hold on, let me sit up real close. Your girl is cute today, okay? What's that the noise that dude made? Get your money up, not your funny up. What do you do? How do you do it? Do it. Uh, I could that's right no. <laughs> it's a video on my page if you follow me on instagram on shady lips y'all know it's this dude and i posted this post and it said if you can spell this sound you get 500 dollars. he made some kind of sound we don't know what it is but it was crazy but do you enjoy making videos with me he been at work all day y'all and right now it's 11.54 p.m. and we gotta be up at 6 something. Is it? I need to finish power. God. And we gotta be up at 6 in the morning so the kids can get ready for school. Because tomorrow is the first day of school. I'm definitely posting first day vibes and jitters tomorrow. So make sure y'all tune in for that. Uh, thank y'all so much for listening to us. Be us. Mommy Power Hour. It's gonna start. I ain't gonna give y'all no specific days because I don't wanna lie. Mommy Power Hour will be up. Oh, here you go, y'all. Why you got on that purse, son? Eh? I ain't seen no fucking purse. I'm the big dilf. Don't do that. Come out of the in the bit at you heard? Get your money. I'm not your funny. I'm big he can sound dude. like a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheetah sound. It sounds like a cheetah. I just thought of it. He sounds like a cheetah. So make sure y'all tune into like my shady lips. Um, if you go on this channel, you can follow his Instagram. This is D Kyrie is. And mine is Shady Lips. But I've also posted the links to them when you go to the About Us page. It's there. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to the Cam Fam Gang. We'll be back tomorrow with children. First day of school vibes. He- what? Hmm? What? No, no, I miss this. Not with the children in the actual video unless I want them to, but not like that. But, yeah. So, thank y'all. We will see y'all on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he gonna come up with what we talk about next. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Bye, y'all.